Hi everyone, it's Mike Sherry. I'm out here early in the morning because I am excited to show you the new changes to the Forest River Cherokee and Gray Wolf products. So this has been the number one selling travel trailer in all of North America for the past two years running. And it's always been a top contender. And this year it's just kind of pulled away from the pack because it offers so many features without having a crazy high high price. In fact, floor plan to floor plan, it's often very competitive with brands that offer a lot less amenities and features. So that's one reason uh, the Cherokee and Great Wolf product is really pulled away from the pack. And also they're just super innovative, which I'm gonna show you today. It seems like all the other manufacturers, and I, I look at them all when I decide what brand to carry here at Paul Sherry RVs, all the other manufacturers are constantly chasing them and are always a year or two or sometimes three years behind with the Cherokee brand is doing uh, so today I'm showing you a gray wolf which is the, the the little brother to the Cherokee it's a lower profile travel trailer and it's probably the best uh, selling the top volume brand in the Cherokee lineup it's easy to be towed and it's really a versatile travel trailer so I'm gonna flip this around and show this to you this is an all-new 2020 model but this is what the 2021s are gonna look like so in RV world they do the product changes this time of year in the fall before the actual model year changes. So if you're wanting the newest of the new, now's a really good time to buy because you're kind of price protected because it's not a 2021, it's a 2020 still, but you still get all the stuff that the 2021s are gonna have without the increase in price. I hope that makes sense. All right, so this is the all new 2020 Forest River Gray Wolf and how you denote the difference between the older model 2020s and the newer model 2020s is this thick blue piece of metal. What they've done, let me get out of the sun a little bit, uh, is they've added a couple extra strips of the blue metal. You can see the older 2020 right beside us. This is the newer, just came in. So that's how you denote from the exterior. And there's also a couple other changes I'll show you, but I, I kind of coined the term the thick blue. These are the thick blue models. So uh, if you hear that out there, you know where it came from. All right, so Forest River Gray Wolf is this travel trailer. This is the 29 bunkhouse model, which will come with three bunks and an outside kitchen. A lot of cool features still on this Forest River Gray with power tongue jack comes standard. Two propane bottles up front here. The metal on this is fully painted metal. They don't do a lot of decals on the Gray Wolf Cherokee because what they found and the other companies are still figuring this out is decals don't like to stick to metal too well, particularly after a year or two or three. And also the decals, when it's when they sit out in the sun for an extended period of time, they, they fade, they shrink, they crack, they don't look good on a used travel trailer. So what they've done is they've got rid of most of the decals on the, the Cherokee lineup and they've painted the metal. It's more expensive to do that way but it's going to make your trailer last for years and years to come and speaking of the metal they've got a little bit of a premium metal on this travel trailer they have what they call the yoder metal down here uh, in the lower part this is a little bit thicker metal and it's going to be stronger metal so why the reason they put it down here towards the lower part is they realize that maybe road debris and stuff might come up and hit this and or maybe just the kid on the bicycle <laughs> runs into it or, or on the golf cart. It's a little bit nicer, thicker metal. It's gonna be a little bit sturdier there. So that's a nice feature to have. This has the Swintec slide system, which is two tracks that you can see here. And there's two tracks on the opposite side as well. What those are, there's, there's motors that run on both of those tracks. That allows this slide to come in and out in one fluid motion instead of hopping in and out, uh, where a lot of the competition is, is using the under floor driven slide mechanism those will cause it to hop a little bit it's not a bad design it's just these really work slick uh, for a nice smooth in and out operation coming around towards the rear of the travel trailer we have a nice light out here this is a great spot for the light because this is your hookup station right so you have your your black tank flush you have your outside shower and you have your electrical hookup all right in this area. So when you get to your campsite and it happens to be dark or maybe you're leaving early in the morning or late at night, it's nice to have a little light to light up this area because this is where you're going to be working. Uh, the dump station is right down here, conveniently located. And a new feature for this uh, 2000 and late 2020s, I'll call them, is they come standard with a heated 
uh, an insulated underbelly. Standard feature. You can see that nicely done. So that's going to allow you to camp in a little bit uh, longer in the year, a little bit earlier in the spring. So let's see here. My camera got stuck. Sorry about that. Also, nice spot for your outside shower. Not to necessarily take an outside shower out here, but because it's located so close to the dump station. So you can wash out your hose, your dump hose, or if you're like me and you always get messy when you dump, it's nice to have hot and cold water to wash yourself off. Some storage underneath in the rear here, good outside storage. Uh, I really like on these gray wolves, they use the leno in their storage compartments because it's easy to clean up that way. All right, standard feature on the Forest River Gray Wolves is this travel rack. So that's going to come down for extra storage, exterior storage. You can put your bicycles on there. If you're hauling a generator, that's a good spot for it. Uh, a lot of things, a lot of uses for that travel rack. Also, a feature we put on most of our travel trailers is a full-size spare tire. Uh, that mounts right to the travel rack, and you, it can be used with it up or down, and uh, with the travel rack up or down, I should say. Uh, if you're unsure of who we are, check us out online, paulsherryrvs.com. And uh, if you go to Google, check that out as well. You'll find where we have over almost 500 now uh, reviews from real customers who have done business with us. So check us out there for our reputation. All right, on to the fun stuff. So this is the fun side of the RV. Uh, in the rear here, we have probably one of the most spacious outside kitchens you'll find. Uh, it comes with the biggest refrigerator that I've seen. And it's actually taped up, so I'm just going to leave that. But what we have on the left here is a freezer, and on the right is the refrigerator side. And then right next to that, you have a sink with both hot and cold water and a drain. That's, that's really special. A lot of outside kitchens, they don't have a sink with a drain. It just, it's just a bucket and you got to dump the bucket out. And now this device right here is something really unique. This is a, a, an ice maker. So, you know, when you're camping, you always need ice. So it's really nice to have an ice maker built in. And then notice the base that this outside kitchen sits on. It's a metal type material. Uh, a lot of the competition is still making their base out of particle board wood styling. And the trouble with that is the outside kitchen is going to get wet, right? Because you, it's going to rain, you're going to have this open, and it's going to get wet in here every now and then. Not on purpose, just by accident. Well, that wood styling they use doesn't hold up to water very well. So it's nice having this almost industrial uh, feel to the outside kitchen. There's your two burner there uh, for cooking. All right, power awning on this gray wolf. Uh, it's an adjustable power awning. It's made by Lippert. Uh, to adjust it, you simply just pull down. I need to work out a little bit more. Just simply pull down and that's going to bring this end a little lower. The reason you're going to do that is that'll allow the water to run off very nicely. Outside speakers. Uh, and also, it's prepped for an outside television. It comes with the mount already. They give you the other piece that goes on the back of your television. And it has electric out here. But not only that, it's got an HDMI port and a coaxial port. That coaxial port will work off a cable television if you have it. Or it also work off your antenna on the roof to bring in your free television stations. The HDMI port right there, that is going to be hooked into the radio uh so that's a nice feature there you can hook your thumb drive in there and watch your movies uh right off that so that's a sweet sweet feature all right let's check out the inside still has the nice more ride steps for a nice stable entry also has the friction hinge door so this door is going to stay put wherever i leave it up to 20 mile an hour winds i've done some videos on windy days and they just stay put notice there's no latch because you don't need it on this type of door uh, if you've ever been uh, around rvs you know those latches always tend to break 29 bh right here at paul sherry rvs all right let's check it out Okay, so for this late 2020s, I have to think about what to say there. Uh, there's some interior color changes is going to be the main difference that we see inside here. Uh, new wallboard color, new linoleum, new fabric colors on the, uh, on the seat cushions and the couch. Uh, so that's going to be what's new here, new bedspread. Uh, so they still, you know, kept to what's really been successful for them. Just kind of changed it up, made it more modern. Still LED lights in here, uh, has the, the pocket doors, which a lot of people like. The competition's still using just a, a cheap fabric curtain. Um, so that's a nice, nice feature. Also, this is new for this year. So it comes prepped. Uh, 
It's got USB charging there, but you can also, it comes prepped for this cool Furion uh, outside speaker, a Bluetooth speaker, so you can charge that right on that port there. Uh, so that's a nice feature. I love those speakers, they're, they're super cool. And then uh, coming here, we'll, we'll start with what's in the slide out room. So you have your, your couch that comes out for extra sleeping, uh, has this right in the couch that'll allow it to fold down flat for extra sleeping there. And then the oversized U dinette. So that's one thing that kind of sets uh, Cherokee and Grey Wolf away uh, apart from the pack is they put the bigger U dinette in it where you can actually fit six people around and it makes to a gigantic bed if you need that for extra sleeping. And also some more charging ports there for your USB devices. Coming along this wall, just have some more storage here. And also notice, this is uh, new for this year, so in the speakers themselves, the interior speakers, you have blue LED lights. So that's cool. And uh, of course, still have the blue LED accent lighting above the slide. All right, entertainment system up front here. Uh, so you, again, a mount for the television. You have the appropriate hookups here. That's gonna be for your co uh, coaxial antenna up on the roof. Uh, and your power supply there. Here is your radio provided by Furion. This is going to uh, do uh, Bluetooth, AM, FM. It has a HDMI input and also a uh, USB input there. And a co, uh, not a coax, so it has a, uh, a headphone jack and, a, and an auxiliary port. Uh, down below here we have your Furion. This is a 30 uh, inch space heater fireplace and this is going to re look really cool. Uh, it's got a nice ambience to it but also puts out heat. It acts as a space heater uh, and it'll heat this area up really nice. It's, it can't take the place of your furnace on that cool cool day but that cool morning it's really going to work well to take the chill off the air. And then down below here, I believe this is new for this year, you have a little spot there Great spot for shoes, so that way you're not putting them by the door and tripping. All right, so here's some new uh, changes in the kitchen, new countertop this year, and new colors on the sink and on the, the faucet. So they have the new black stainless steel, which is super hot right now. Uh, the countertop it also has a, a, a black streaks of like almost like marble in it and also they changed this this year so they have this little lip here for the sink cover that keeps the sink cover in place uh in the past they didn't have that and the sink cover could fall out but check out this black stainless sink so that that's hot so the farm style sink uh and really looks good couples well with this black stainless high-end residential style faucet uh and coming over here it has the new graystone oven uh, has the door in the oven and uh, the Greystones use a, a little bit better uh, grate system here a little bit more industrial it's gonna last a little bit longer a uh, nice backsplash there that's upgraded as well and the Furion or the Greystone sorry uh, range hood here with a fan and a nice microwave for your hot pockets okay this here is really cool this is new for this year so this is a Furion uh refrigerator this is a 10.7 cubic foot the biggest they had in gray wolves in the past was a seven cubic foot so we're getting 3.7 extra cubic foot with this refrigerator freezer and it's 12 volt which is super awesome we had a 12 volt refrigerators come out in our vibes last year and have had awesome awesome uh, response for them. Look how deep it is. You can fit so much more food in these refrigerators and they do everything the dual mode fridges used to do in the past, right? But they're simpler, they're bigger, and they make sense. This is going to really, I, I believe, truthfully, that all we will see two, three years from now is 12 volt refrigerators and campers because it makes sense with solar panel. This is prepped for uh, solar panels. Uh, and then when you're driving down the road, your pull vehicles throwing out 12 volt to charges. So anytime you're going to be using this camper, you're going to have 12 volt access, uh, which is really ingenious. And I am super glad that they put that refrigerator in there. All right, coming to the rear of the travel trailer, we have our bathroom off to the left and much the same in here. I don't know if you caught that, but that light just turned on. So the bathroom is uh, equipped with a motion light, which I like. So when you go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, you're not 
struggling to find the light switch. It just turns on with motion. Uh, has the shower surround in it. Uh, nice stand-up shower here. Even has the skylight up there for the taller people. Uh, also, you know, this standard feature last year, but this is a nice feature. A lot of companies don't throw the extra money. This is about a hundred dollar fan, maybe a hundred fifty dollar fan. Uh, the competition uses the little dinky fan that more makes more noise than it moves air. So this is a nice fan. I always say this is like the whole house attic fan. This is going to really ventilate not just the bathroom, but the whole camper. What I recommend is cracking a window on the other end of the trailer, turning this fan on, and it's really going to ventilate very nicely. And if you got someone that makes a lot of a lot of smells in the bathroom, it's going to help exhale that out. A little light right here too. That's new uh, to light up the sink area. And of course the foot flush stool. So nice upgrades in the bathroom. And then coming back to the bunk room, again, solid door. A lot of the competition still using a curtain, which doesn't have a lot of privacy. All right, so bunk room is much the same. This is a tried and true bunk room. It's worked for years. And uh, other than just maybe some color changes, this is much the same. A lot of storage for the kids stuff. A lot of storage. A little ladder and some more storage here. All right, so that finalizes it. Uh, the purpose of these videos is to inform you what's new out in the industry, like this trailer, which I get excited about, and also to encourage you to uh, give us an opportunity to to uh, earn your business. So uh, we are an RV dealer. We get customers from hours away from our store to do business with us. Uh, we make it simple. We make it easy. There's no gimmicks. Uh, a lot of your dealers now are charging you extreme amount of fees. I've heard upwards of $3,500 in addition to the sale price. And that doesn't include your taxes for fees. Uh, so we have Paul Sherry's. We do not do that. Uh, no extra fees. Let me get on my face. Uh, no extra fees other than the $283.50. That's your 45 day tag. Uh, uh, and uh, your title work and all your paperwork. So uh, the price you see basically is the price you pay at Paul Sherry's, which unfortunately is not what we're seeing in the industry right now. They're charging for prep, walkthrough, cleanup, uh, freight, all kind of stuff. So uh, don't fall into that trap. Also, a uh, little sneak peek. You can save thousands. If you're thinking about buying a camper next year, buy one of these late model 2020s. It's going to be what next year's looks like and you buy them before the price increase. So uh, I encourage you to check that out. Uh, shop our website and give us a call if you have any uh, questions. I'll post the information below about uh, links to our website and stuff like that. So thanks for watching.